Hey, how's it going everybody? Thanks for tuning in and watching the video. Today I was wanting to go over uh, a really cool new piece of gear that I've been using for uh, a little over a month now, but I've been running it really hard. Uh, and it's the dry backpack from Remote Designs. Uh, the guy behind it is Gatewood Brown. So if you're not familiar with him, he's got a great channel uh, here on YouTube of kayak camping all over Texas. He's a fellow Texan like myself. His content's just top notch. Um, and he reached out and asked if I'd be interested in, in running his, uh, his backpack from Remote Designs and also his, uh, his hip bag that are both waterproof and kind of made for this kind of stuff. So my buddy uh, Craig and I are out here uh, camping on the Natchez River and I thought it'd be a good time for me to share my thoughts on this pack. Um, like I said, this was sent out to me uh, by Gatewood at Remote Designs and I just knew right off the bat if it was good enough for him, it was definitely going to be good enough for me. Not only has he been kayak camping uh, quite a bit more than what I have lately, but uh, he also thinks a lot about this stuff because he knows how important it is to have your stuff protected and to uh, keep your stuff dry and safe, especially uh, the kind of quality content that he puts out. So I know that he's using uh, expensive gear, expensive camera equipment and whatever. So um, it was really interesting to me when I saw him uh, come out with this stuff. I just never got around to, uh, to getting it myself. Uh, I had some old dry bags that I just chunked stuff into and it wasn't until I've been using this that I realized, man, I should have had this a long time ago. So right off the bat, the uh, quality of the rubber and uh, seam sealing is, is top notch. It's what you'd expect from any kind of like sea line bag, uh, that durability of rubber and that thickness of rubber. Um, but it's not so heavy and thick that it's going to be uncomfortable to carry. So if you did have to leave your kayak, uh, let's say down at the base of a river and you wanted to hike up and explore a waterfall that you know of uh, You could definitely rock this on your back without it being uh, cumbersome uh, All the zippers are really nice um, They're pretty stiff at first, but that's what you want with any of these dry bag zippers uh, They do all have that locking feature that you'll see with quality uh, waterproof zippers where the teeth are uh, covered with the rubber and then when you pull it, you have to actually pull it up a little bit more and it'll seal that hole at the top. Dimensions of it are perfect for what it's for. It's not gonna carry three days worth of gear, but for you to keep either camera equipment, uh, any kind of snack stuff that you're stopping for uh, the day, any kind of day hiking stuff, it's more than more than enough room and uh, it's, it's perfect. So far, I've been using this pack for right at uh, a month maybe a month and some change and the first three weeks that i had it i used it exclusively um for the classes that i was teaching so at the time when this got uh in the mail to me i was teaching uh, wilderness skills and wilderness courses for kids camps and i was using this every time i'd be out there and i wasn't babying it at all uh, i would carry all the stuff that i needed to teach uh, the kids so a lot of like redundancies and you don't want them to uh, not have something that they need and i was also providing all of the equipment so uh, it worked really well for that it gets muddy it, i sit on it in the water to see um, it holds air whenever you go to uh, to try to press on it so it works really well um, on the sides here it has two different styles of pockets you've got a larger pocket that will fit like uh, smaller water bottles. A Nalgene would be pushing it uh, because by the time you get stuff inside of here, it's going to press against this. So it's not quite big enough for that, but I keep my tourniquet on this side. And then on the other side, it's actually got a pass through pocket. And I've seen a few people use that for their fishing net. So uh, the nets, the dip nets and stuff that you keep in your kayak. Uh, it'll pass through. I haven't quite figured out what I want to do with that yet. But on both sides, you've got uh, daisy chaining, which uh, carabiners on this side. And then when I was teaching classes, I had uh, a carabiner with a uh, hank of tubular webbing set up on this side. If I was running any kind of rapid stuff, I'd be doing the same thing. Just something that I can unhook real quick and do a throw rope uh, kind of rescue stuff. And then up top, you also have uh, a row of... Uh, daisy chain 
webbing um, across the top. All the stitches is really good. It's all bar tack stitching, so um, really nice. You've got a D-ring here in the front. You can hang stuff off of. Uh, I've been hanging my gloves over here on this side for if my hands are just soaking wet all day from paddling. And then you got a Velcro patch in the middle. The front pocket is just a simple uh, up and down vertical pocket. It's all in the inside, it's all colored uh, blue. So you can see what you're doing in there. Uh, that makes it really handy. And then that's sealed off. And then the inside is pretty spacious. It's kind of a dump style pack, but you've got a mesh pocket on the front flap that's got a zipper and that goes majority of the length to the front of the pack. You've got another mesh pocket in the back of the pack that's uh, even about the same size. And then you have kind of like a, a laptop sleeve or a water bladder sleeve in the back. And again, you've got blue accents in there from uh, the material, but it also kind of helps you see if you're using a headlamp. Um, and again, this, the zippers are gonna be a little stiff at first, you know, from like any of your Yeti coolers or Arctic stuff, uh, you can get the zipper lube for it and that'll help, but uh, they get broken in pretty quick. The back of the pack has pretty good padding. Uh, it's ventilated, it's mesh padding. It's really comfortable, even loaded down. Um, I'm not a fan of packs that have super thick uh, padding and straps on them. I think that kind of defeats the purpose. Uh, it also makes you want to pack even more in there than what you're supposed to. So the, the back of it feels really good. It's got just enough padding. Um, everything dries really quick as well too. Uh, after sitting on it in the water and it getting soaking wet and I sweat a lot, um, nothing really stays, stays wet long. And then you've got a nice uh, grab handle up at the top uh, to just toss this thing around. All right, so that's what I feel about the, uh, the Remote Designs Ride Backpack. It's... Uh, it's awesome. It's definitely going to be the staple uh, bag for me to keep in, the, in my kayak. The way that I have it, uh, pack, that I pack out my kayak, I can have this in the back hole and get to it if we're stopping. Um, just like with my food, I don't have to get into the kayak itself. I can just grab stuff from the outside. And uh, this is definitely going to be adapted to it. Um, I, I'd been looking for a dry bag uh, similar to this a few years back when I was running the Buffalo River and I got one and it leaked horribly and I just never went back to it. So um, I'm happy that Gatewood is uh, kind enough to send this out. But also too now, it's going to be something that I'm going to be using on any of my kayak trips. So uh, I'll leave a link below in the description if you want to go and check this out and uh, support a fellow Texan as well with uh, his business endeavor. And I, I like it. It comes in two different colors. It's this coyote tan and like an OD green. Well, I couldn't be happier with this, and uh, I highly recommend it. So I appreciate you watching this. I hope you got something from it. Uh, go check out Remote Designs. And remember, get outside and enjoy the woods, or in this case, the water.